good? It's your boy Wolf here. Welcome back to the Liverpool career mode of FIFA 18. Now, the first two games I'm most likely going to simulate because I have no interest in playing Bournemouth. We should smoke them. Smoke them. They should catch all the smoke. And we should uh, defeat Stoke City with ease. Um, we're at home for both games. Um, obviously, the big game in this episode is definitely going to be the one against uh, Spurs, which is going to be the Emirates Cup semi-final. Now, see, this is what I'm saying. Lewis Holtby is a 676 rated cam at 27 years of age. Um, Aaron Hunt, I know, I, I know you're quite decent. Ugh. Do you want to go with someone who's young? I mean, your contract is definitely not expiring soon. So let me not get excited. But if it is, you're about to catch all that money. Trust that. Um, but yeah, realistically, it would be nice um, to get. Um, it would be nice to get Hazard in, but I can't sign him until he comes back from loan. Um, yeah, that twenty. That's not even a lot of money. But I, I don't really need I don't really need Vidal. So let me look let me go away from the midfielders. I don't need Vidal, I don't need the Cure. Um Vieira and v, let's organize this. Vieira and Cook are probably the only two players I really generally need right now. Um because they're young and I can bleed them through the first team. Guys like Seri. I'm just not going to sign. I mean, I've got Milinkovic Savage and I've got Keita. There's no reason for me to want to sign guys like this. Um, so that's that. We're, we're kind of thinning down this uh, shortlist that we've got here. Barco would be interesting, but I don't really feel like paying 21.2 million for a 76 rated um, winger. I know he's got potential. I know he's going to be very, very good, but it's a lot of money. So we'll get rid of that. Um, more than likely, more than likely... Hazard is going to come back and they're going to offer him a new contract. I don't see him just being up and released like that. So that's 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 going to be tough. Um, Cam-wise, you know, there is Oscar there uh, at the age of 26. Um, but uh, I think loads of you want me to sign a striker. That's that's the thing. Um, Babaka, I'm not really going to be interested in. Dra Hold on. Mum's calling. One second. <laughs> Anyway, we're back. <coughs> um, get rid of Mawson because I'm not going to sign him. Um, I've got the. I'm going to keep Man Manolas there because he's just a goat. So we're going to keep him there. Um, Perrin and Butland. Let me get a scout report on this guy because how I haven't really got one is. But they're saying 24 and 20. I probably would prefer to go after Butler, so that's all good. Thinning down this uh, shortlist here, man. Um, Session Young, I think I'm going to sign him uh, when we open the window because I haven't got enough money. Now, I do actually, I think I've got 11 million. Uh, I'm going to sign him. Just too expensive. Way too expensive. Would be nice, but he's way too expensive. Um, Julian Draxler. Uh, but we're going to keep him there because sometimes they try and sneak in little offers like you'll see like Chelsea have signed Asensio for 35 million you've had 35 million you think you're fucked so I'm going to just leave it here just, just to see just in case Draxler would be the perfect fit for a team like this but that 50 to 74 mil eesh, I don't think so don't think so I think my main target when the window opens is going to be Timo Werner that's going to be the main target if Mane leaves, I most likely will bring in Pulisic. So these two are definitely top contenders right now. I do need a cam. 30 to 50 mil isn't as expensive as, I th as I'm thinking it is. But when you've got, you know, a ready player already in Firmino, you don't want to sign another 83 rated cam, do you? So it's kind of, it's kind of one of them things. But anyway... Um, we've, been, we've been doing a lot of chit chat here. Let's get uh, let's get with the with the games in. Get, I'm hungry as hell. I don't know why I'm so hungry. It's, uh, this is why I don't like waking up early. I bury, basically I do all my recordings early. So I, too old. I basically do all my recordings early. So I wake up at nine, eight ish nine o'clock. Um, I hate because one one thing I hate starting my day late. 
feel like that's the worst thing. I feel like now the days go so quickly that it's better to, you know, wake up early and get on with things uh, rather than wake up late and try and compact everything in a short amount of time. So I get up at like nine o'clock ish, do all my recordings until like about twelve ish, one ish, and then just relax the rest of the day or do more recordings or, or something if I've got FM to record. But I had no FM to record. Um, Chan, Chan, you're going anyway, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no um, FM to record or anything, no 2K to record what well, I do, but I'm still waiting on it. Uh, why am I here on this list? I don't know. I'm meant to go on squad, so I can transfer list. If he's not already transfer listed, I need to transfer list Chan because he's going. The guy's trash. Someone warned me that he was trash, and I didn't believe him. Kept him. Nah, guy is dead. Yep, he's transfer list. Let me, let me remove him. And transfer list him again. <gasps> guys, the guy is terrible. Um, Oxlade, I can't put him on the transfer list yet, but we'll be doing so as soon as he is available to do so, which will be when the next season starts. <sighs> Other than that, I've, I've, I've actually enjoyed this career mode despite the rages and, you know, the angers that I've had because it's been challenging. A lot of you have been, uh, which I really don't understand. I've been seeing comments and people asking me what difficulty I'm on. Those are the comments I look at and I'm like, have you not been seeing me struggle? Have you not seen us struggle to climb the table to where we are now? Like, have you not seen it happen? Like, this has not been an easy career mode. Matter of fact, the easiest career mode I played was probably Monaco. Monaco, I breezed through that. Um, I think I went how many games undefeated? I went undefeated at a certain point. Um, Atletico was, was challenging, but we got there in the end. The last season was piss easy. Schalke was easy as hell, but in this career mode, I'm actually struggling, and I'm seeing comments like, this is too easy. I'm like, what? You're either new, or you haven't been paying attention to my previous career modes. That's the only thing that comes to my head. Um, but yeah, despite all the rages and the anger and all that, I've actually generally enjoyed this career mode because it's been challenging. It's my first ever Premier League career mode on YouTube that I've done successfully. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Um, people asking me whether I'm going to do a season 2 That's down to y'all That's down to you guys If you want a season 2 I will do a season 2 If you want me to move teams Matter of fact I should probably make a post right now As I'm doing these videos Because I will end season 1 today um, And I have time I've got work pretty much the rest of the week But I have time tomorrow to record So it'd be nice to just get that On the way Instead of waiting for a reply So I'm probably going to put that out now so, when you're watching this video, the post will already be out. So, this is going to be episode 3. So, there might be still time to vote. I don't know. But let's do this, man. Let's do this. Let's go with all the alternative kits, man. That's why they're there. Them cup kits. Here we go. Liverpool, Spurs, semi-final, Wembley. Let's do this. You know, personally, I've never understood why the semi-final is played at Wembley. For me, it kind of, oh, that voice crack. For me, it kind of takes away the whole occasion of getting to Wembley and playing at Wembley for the final. They make Wembley such a prestigious stadium and such a great atmosphere and such a great stadium to play in that I feel like the Wembley, you know, Wembley Stadium should be left for the final and they should continue to have home and away fixtures for the semi-final. And I know, I know people are going to say, oh, okay, that makes it unfair because, you know, Blah blah blah. If they go to home territory, if they if they go if they're away and they go to um, home territory, sorry, if they go to um, like if Spurs went to Liverpool Stadium, it'd be unfair because Liverpool are home territory. They got more fan support. Blah blah blah. But still, then you can't really try and make Wembley as such a prestigious oh, so once in a lifetime opportunity. So this and that, it's this and that. I'm like, bro, it don't make no sense. Like that's just me. That's just my take on it. I think Wembley should be left as a special occasion for the final and that's that but what do i know i'm a guy that plays fifa on youtube what do i know got some strength hasn't he to shield the ball like that dembele he could cross it from here supporting player alongside Son. damian bit of kick ball going on here I went into this game forgetting how OP Spurs actually are on this game. Like, I really did. It really just skipped my mind. 
We've got an interesting game ahead of us. Give me that. Oh, man, this is going to be a tough... Okay. They messed up. Opportunities. Awoken. Opportunity. Opp what kind of... Oh! 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 I don't know why Mane took it on his left foot. I'm not understanding. He took it on his left foot and it almost shocked everyone in the stadium. That would have been probably goal of the cup. That was absolutely ridiculous. Take it on his left foot the way he did. And then to hit the post. I see you, Mane, but um, now we've got to get our heads in gear. There we go, Keita with the interception. Oh, fuck, he get through that gap. Mane wins it back. Mane, go on then. Referee, referee, excuse me. Excuse, okay. So you started the war. Hey, the war is hot. Why is Keita playing on the wing, please? Why is Keita playing on the wing? Like, why, why was he there? These midfielders sometimes get in a bit... Henderson started to do it at one point as well. Get a bit excited, like, try to try sneak on the wings. Like, you're a midfielder. Know your role. I don't mind, actually, players drifting, but only when it makes sense. Fuck these! Ooh! He took that cut back and said, Wee! Could have been something. That is, that is a, that's a, oh, no, that's not what you need right there. That's not. Kovic, fix it. Ah, <sighs> it's going to be a very tense game. I, I don't like it. I, I don't want it. And it, it, it's straight to penalties in this game as well. Like, no set, no replay fixture. Just, that's it. Give me that. You got to remember, Song's had a great season in the Premier League. So he's going to probably want to look to continue that here in the cup. Who is this? Lucas. Headed that. Oh, oh. Inches. Oh, oh. Save then. Right, here we go. Don't know why I'm singing that. For me, it's quite dropped quite deep. Can't lie. Oh. You already know what time it is. <laughs> he doesn't miss. He doesn't. Oh my god. Every time I take a shot with this guy, it just flies in and it looks so beautiful at the same time. He just doesn't miss them. You get the right angle and the right uh, amount of uh, uh, bars on the shot power. And it's, there is no keeper can save them. Yeah, you want to do that full stretch? Nah. <laughs> nah. Oh, my gosh. I'm the king of long shots. I don't care what no one tries to tell me, to be honest, bro. Can't tell me nothing. <laughs> Can't tell me nothing. T-shirt coming soon. Watch. I don't know why I ran into another player like that. Could be dangerous. Oh, sliced in. That might be a red. That might be a red. I see yellow. Alexander sliced him, boy. That's tough. They got a free kick in a very interesting area. Interesting for a cross, and they do do that. Said doo doo. Oh no. Ericsson in your disgusting hairline. Move. Don't do anything risky, man. Thief. Son's by himself. Son's by himself. Son, you don't do that. You do not leave that this man by himself. Drift in one time on your ass. Ow, why did? Oh, no. Catch it. <gasps> Body. Oh, that was going to be a fantastic... Excuse... Get a bit... It's getting a bit frisky out here in these streets. <gasps> Gotta relax.
FA Cup. Yeah, this is where we might just see some nerves come into play as uh, nobody wants to make a mistake out there. Spurs get the referee's advantage. Sizoko. When they play their kind of football, Tottenham are a joy to watch. We've lost it in the tackle. Now, can they break? I'm being a bit too ruthless right now in this game, but Milankovic Savage is having the worst game of his life. You, you look at the time I'm taking him off. I can't even stress. He's giving the ball away. He's lose, he's getting tackled with ease. He's getting bodied off the ball. This man is really having a nightmare. Maybe he just ain't ready for an occasion like this, but guy is not there today. Usually he's like my anchor in midfield. Today, deactivated. Emery Chan on the ball here. Not really going to trust him to... Going to have to... Oh, my word. Never mind. I was going to give it back to for, for, for Chan. Tottenham said, nah, we good. Just a flick on with the header. They've kept possession. Remember, you're only leading by okay. one goal. You just keep that in your head. Oh. Keep that in your head! Take our ankle. Basically, in this game, is is pretty much just give it to Keita and let him shoot because I don't see us getting a goal no other way right now. They are on me like hotcakes. Here we go. Here we go. Who is that? Who is that? My word. Ref, Re ref, right. All right then. All right then. Referee, referee, don't want to say nothing, does he? No. Okay, that's fine. That's. F you missed the tackle too late. No, I'm told. Listen, sometimes it's. I've got to be careful here because I've got two players in the yellow card. But. He. Oh, that was a tackle. That was a tackle. He just missed as well. That was a definite tackle, though, man. Yeah, Salah's got to come off. Picked up an injury. It's not what you want. They just keep on getting the ball, bro. They's not letting me have one sign of possession. That's that's a save there. Kiefer with a full stretch. Harris not letting anything get past him today. This that's what we need. Ericsson is off. Ali is on. Oh Lord. Oh 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 Kane try sneak sneak. Just get it out. Just get it. We can't get the ball to the possession must be like 70 to what? It's ridiculous, bro. I can't get the ball. Tottenham are the most OP probably top three OP teams on this game. Have to be. Look. And that's a foul to the... Oh, it's better be to me, boy. Better. Another player's coming on. Who's coming on? Don't recognise that player at all. Bruno Cesar. I've never... Alright. All oh, right, man. I mean, we, we, Liverpool's done nothing in this game. The long shot, as I said, is the saviour and always will be the saviour for us in games like this. Because And that's a goal. That's a goal. Oh, what a save, Carriers. You stop that. Now, I, got, I tried to... I, tried, I pressed circle. I pressed circle. I pressed circle. Oh, my God. Spurs are so good. How? Flipping OP. Oh my goodness me, it's literally been... So when everyone tells me that, oh, this game is easy, I hope you watch this game. No matter of fact, anyone that comments, oh, this is too easy, oh, what difficult is this? So send them this episode, just just do it, just just send them the link to this episode and let them watch it, because I'm tired of this, boy. Oh my God, is he not going... Goal. Oh, wow. They should be, they, they should be winning. They should be, but I can't look at the Spurs. They get, oh, we got the ball. My my boys, we have the ball. <laughs> I, 
had it briefly. Had it briefly after getting bodied. Oh no. Oh no. Why did I touch off his foot like that? Oh, he messed up anyway. That's mine. Come on, lads. I mean, you know what? It was an absolute disgraceful performance, but I will have that. I will take it and I will exit myself out of the arena and look forward to the final, whoever we may be facing. Most likely Chelsea. So Chelsea is going to be a, a game against. It's going to be a game against Chelsea to decide the, the, the Premier League title, and it's going to be a game against Chelsea to decide the Emirates Cup final. Interesting. Chelsea are still my rivals in career mode. Still. Oh, oh, it's Ipswich. Oh, Chelsea, what happened? Where are you dead? <laughs> Ipswich calling the arms out. Okay, who did? Now, to be fair, you might have to say that the, the, the Ipswich might have deserved it. They beat Arsenal in the round of 16. Oxford, who are not really a threat um, to them anyway, um, in the quarter final. And then they beat Chelsea in the semi final. They beat two. Top, or supposed to be top five teams in the Premier League. Arsenal are in some ninth position, to about some bottom half of the top half of the table. And then in the final, it's going to be Tottenham versus Ipswich. We, uh, Liverpool, sorry, versus Ipswich. But we have gone through Manchester United in the first round of 16, then Burnley in the quarter final, uh, where we had to play obviously um, two legs. And then we had a game against Spurs, and now we're going to. How about that then? Against the Pit Games. Who would have thought it? Not me, not you. You're freaking peasant. Anyway, let's see what we get here. Uh, we get one minute for going to the final. I am not no, I'm skipping past that quickly, boy. Rafael Alvaro has been suspended. But I think I've been suspended. This is be a Please don't be out for the rest of the season. Pretty much out for the rest of the season. Oh. Salah is out for the rest of the season. I'm mad. I'm mad. The man out for the rest of the season for my second concern. And maybe not actually, I don't know. Um So how can they how can their uh Emirates FA Cup fans count for me? That makes no sense. Two one though. Peter scores, Mane scores. How does that how does that work? That makes no sense. Still a point ahead of Chelsea. They need to just let me breathe, man. Lord, Chelsea, just let me breathe. But that's what I'm saying. You you can't afford to slip up. This is where it gets. This is where it's the crunch, the crunch. You cannot afford to slip up. And then when you get a game, when you come, when you come up against Chelsea, that's when you have to kill everything in your path. Um, suspension over. Suspension over. Anyway, that's it for the episode. As I said, I was only going to play one game in this episode because. it's this is an important game, semi-final, we won, we're through to the final. So, this is how the table looks. Liverpool are still first with 74 points. Uh, Chelsea are second with 73 points. Spurs are in third with 62 points. Level points with Manchester United, being them on goal difference. Fifth, we've got Watford still uh, with 61. A point ahead, Manchester City who are in sixth with 60 points. Arsenal have not been able to climb out between the ninth and seventh position. They have literally been stuck there all season, and I think that's probably where they will be finishing. A very disappointing season, and I'd expect every player to want to leave to get Champions League football. 
down in the bottom half of the table. It is still Newcastle, Swansea and West Ham United. Southampton are literally just got their head above water. That's tough. But anyway, I'm out of here. As per usual, make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live. Bars. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 18 and FM 18 content. Hit that like button down below. Comment anything you want about trains. I don't know. And I'll see you for the next episode. Peace.